Hello, I'm Felix Colibri and I'm going to present you today a REST client using the OAuth2 protocol to download and upload files from Dropbox. We are going to talk first about the Dropbox REST client in general, then the protocol OAuth2, the REST client using the TREST client and the other Delphi REST components and finally we are using Indy to display the logs. Dropbox is an application which allows you to upload files on the cloud and download them from everywhere and share them with other people. So first you have to create a Dropbox account which is quite easy. You upload some files and if you want to upload and download files using a Delphi application, then you must create a Dropbox app. To create the Dropbox app, you use the Dropbox form, giving your email and password and a redirection URL. And after that, you have a form which is the following. For this Dropbox app, we chose Delphi Boxer app as a name then Dropbox allocated an application key, which is this one, and a secret key, which we'll not use in our demonstration, which is this one. And we told Dropbox that the redirection URL will be localhost with 3000 as a port. To recap, you are the owner, you create a Dropbox account, and you place some files on Dropbox, like photos, or any other file. After the creation of the Dropbox application, Dropbox contains now the client ID, the secret ID, and knows the redirection URL. To do so, the owner sends to the client application the client ID and the redirection URL. Then, six, the client opens the web browser and in the URL sends the client ID and the redirection URL asking Dropbox to send the token. Dropbox receives this request and then redirects the request to the redirection URL where the owner has to send his email and password. He sends, he submits this form and then after verification, Dropbox sends back to the client the famous token. Now, when the client has a token, he can do all kinds of requests back and forth to Dropbox, sending the token and getting back all kinds of resources. First of all, the Delphi application, which is taken from, from the REST demo application, which is delivered with Delphi. Here you have the Dropbox endpoint, which is the URL you need to call to get the token. And here is our client ID that you saw on our Dropbox app creation page. Now we click first on the Get Token, and then you have this dialog where you have to fill the uh, username and uh, uh, password. After that, once you have the access token here, then you can do all kinds of requests like fetching metadata, upload files or download files. The code to get the token is quite easy. First of all, you build the URL which is built by the HTTP uh, endpoint which is uh, specified by uh, Dropbox. You give in this URL your client ID the kind of response which is token and the redirection uh, URL. You then create a web browser when you give this URL and simply you call show modal with this URL. So we run the project. We click on get token thereby Dropbox calls the redirection URL which opens this dialog. You type in your email and then your password. 
and then you click sign in. Dropbox warns you to be, to be careful what you are doing. Continue. And then you see that the application Delphi Boxer app, which is the name I gave to the Dropbox app, wants to get the token. Click allow. And here you see our token. Once you have the token, you can perform all kinds of REST requests. For instance, to get metadata from Dropbox, you simply have to give the base URL, point to the authentication uh, component, and then you simply call execute and the REST request will be executed. To better understand what is happening, we simply build an indie application doing exactly the same task. First of all, you see here that we have the client ID and we have the get access token button which starts the whole dialogue to get the access token again. The get access token code is quite similar to a previous one, so we first build the URL here with this constant and instead of using a separate uh, form for the web browser, we simply have the web browser integrated in a tab sheet. So we execute the application, click on Get Access Token, which opens the web browser. So we enter the email, then we enter the password, and then sign in. Dropbox checks our credentials, then warns us before connecting, etc. Continue, and then we see that Delphi Boxer app wants to get the token. We allow. And now, here, we will get the access token. Here it is. The web browser has a navigation complete to event, and in this event, we look for the access token key, which is where the access token will be sent. We then extract the access token copy, using copy, and place this into uh, our edit, which we can use then for later calls. Now just an example of how to use our application, for instance, to upload a file to Dropbox. Here is the code. So here you have the endpoint URL. We create an ID HTTP client. We simply use intercept to log all the exchanges between Indy and Dropbox. Then we use an SSL handler socket OpenSSL with a redirection and we do not want basic authentication because we use bearer authentication. Then we give the file we want to upload and simply we post the result. The file will then be uploaded. We run the application. We click on Upload. OK, the file has been uploaded. And then we can check the log, in the log, of what's happening. So here we see all the exchanges. This URL was sent with the authorization here, bear, and our firm's token. And then we receive a message acknowledging that the file was uploaded. OK, so just a couple of links. I have written a full-fledged paper about this topic. On our site, you have here the URL of this article. And at the end, you have the links where you can download both application, the T-REST client one and the Indie one. And you also have all the links to Dropbox API and documentation. I know, I know, I could have dropped the whole zip file on Dropbox. Well, next time, maybe. On our site, you also will find many articles about Delphi with full source code. We are also involved in Delphi custom development and consulting. Thank you for listening.